What's up? Welcome, everybody around the world. It's the New York Hardcore Chronicles Live, sponsored by Fryette Amplification and New York Hardcore Comics. What's up? What's up? I hope everybody's well. I hope everybody's safe. I hope everybody's having a good time. Got a great show today. Uh, some old friends of ours, New York Hardcore, in effect, Sub Zero's coming on, Lou DiBella, Richie, and Larry. Uh, I have a long history with these guys. Got a lot of photos, a lot of cool stuff to, to bounce around. We got our show regulars and all that. So, you know, looking forward to all this. Um, real quick, I want to I wanna remind you of a couple shows coming up. Uh, this Sunday is a A7. Is a A7. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This Sunday is a A7 Sunday matinee show, and that's with the guys from Crazy Eddie, and Chucky and Lenny from Crazy Eddie, Mike Scandato from The Last Stand, and Ronnie from Bowhead, who's also the A7 sound man. Also, this Sunday, he's coming back by popular demand. Arnie Stone's going to be in the house breaking it down. So... That's this Sunday. Make sure everybody's around for that. Also, next week, we got some great shows. We have uh, Craig from Sick of It All uh, is on Wednesday. And The Take with Will Shepler and Scott Roberts is on Friday. And then Sunday, we have Jesse Mallon. And then I want to announce, I got a special show. I want to announce, listen, you know, Part of the thing here is I want to mix it up. I want to do different things every now and then. So in the spirit of doing different things, if you can handle it, special show coming up a week from Tuesday with Michael DeBar. Michael DeBar was in Silverhead, Detective. He was in Checkered Pass with Steve Jones from the Sex Pistols. And, of course, he was in the Power Station. Uh, he played Live Aid um, with the Power Station and as an actor, he was on MacGyver for many years. He was actually in the movie To Sir With Love. And uh, he's just got an incredible, an incredible resume, this guy. And uh, I'm looking forward to have him, having him on the show. So once in a while, we're going to mix it up a little bit and head in a couple different directions. I want to bring on some actors. I want to bring on some, some filmmakers and stuff like that. You know, keep it, keep it, keep it lively. You know what I mean? Uh, let me look what's happening. Yeah, to sir with to yeah, Chris Bunkley. Yeah, to sir with love. Exactly, bro. You know, and yes, Michelle. Uh, Arnie's coming on on Sunday. Everybody else, Kenny, what's up? Uh, New York Hardcore Comics, shouting you out, bro. Um, Sub Zero Day, yo, Larry the Hunter checking in. So it's all good, yo. I see Steen. What's happening, Steen? Hey ho, Denmark. Of course, appreciate you watching the show. Vinny, what's happening, man? So, yeah, you know, um, let me shout out. I want to shout out my patrons real quick. Uh, thank you to everybody that's uh, uh, gotten on my Patreon page and been a part of it. I want to shout out a couple new patrons here um, that are enabling this show to happen. Your support is what enables this show to happen. So I'm going to run my uh, the Patreon banner uh, underneath there. Go check it out. There, there's a lot of cool shit. And I'm going to show a video a little bit later in the show. But I want to shout out a couple of new patrons here. Todd Hamilton, formerly of Warzone, uh, down there in Arizona. Thank you, Todd. I appreciate your support. Joe James, uh, formerly of Agnostic, of, of Agnostic Front. Um, thank you uh, for your support. Alex Cordova, David Cluwell, Andrew, Andrew Hollywood. Andrew Hollywood. Uh, Kelly Owens, uh, Nick Sabbath, as in Black Sabbath. Dank DeLong, Jorge Rodriguez, David Goldberg, Dan Nastasi of Kings Never Die, formerly of Doggy Dog, thank you, and Florek Zelnick, um, thank you. Um, by the way, Joe James uh, from Silver Tomb with uh, Kenny Hickey as well and, uh, and Johnny Kelly. So we got to have you on the show too at some point. Anyway, uh, there's the Patreon page at the bottom. That's what enables me to do this. So please. Check it out. There's a $2 tier. Listen, there's a $2 tier. If you can't afford to throw $2 in the mix, you shouldn't be watching the fucking show. Anyway, 
let's keep it moving here. I feel good about today's show. Let's have some fun. Any comments? Let, let, let's have a, a loose, easy show today. Um, what do we got here? I want to grow my chops like you, Drew Stone. Pretty cool. You have your docs on. No, but I got a Doc Martin. There's a Doc Martin shirt on, actually. Um, I'm actually naked from the waist down when I do this show. Um, hi from 518 New York. Upstate New York, represent. Or is that Long Island? 518 Long Island. Um, hi from Hell's Kitchen. Uh, hi, Michael. How are you? Hi from NI. What's NI? NI. I don't know what NI is. Anyway, I'm sorry. I don't mean to. I don't mean to lag here. I don't mean to drag. Let's have a good time today. Let's bring. Let's do photo of the day. Uh, my friend and yours, Hardcore Shutterbug, Stephen Ma. See, nah. Bra, what's hey, up? what's up? What's happening? How's everybody doing? Good. Good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Hey, hang on a second here. Are you at work? I'm. I'm good. Oh wait, I'm quick, quick like shout out to Sal Marino. Yo, Sal, what's up? Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> Um, oh yeah. Okay. So I mean, one more Nick. Yo, Nick Sabbath. What's up? Yes. Thanks. Thanks for being a patron. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Wow. Every, yo, yo, Vogo, Vogo in Germany. Where in Germany are you Vogo? We love Germany. Northern Ireland. Nor Northern, Northern Ireland. Yo, shouting out Northern Ireland. What's up? So we are worldwide. Yep. All right. Here we go. Oh, Bernardo, España, como está? All right, here we go. Uh, photo of the day. Uh, anybody, let, let me get this banner off so we can get a good look at it. Anybody, if anybody uh, out there, uh, please, let's hear your comments on it. Let's see what this is. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, here we go. Photo of the day. Boom. Huh. Let me see. Let me get rid of this banner. Oh, all right. What is that? Wow. Well, very interesting. Oh. Well, anybody, anybody, anybody out there? Let's see. I want to hear some comments on this one. I, I have, I have a, I have a few ideas of, of what this might might be. Um, anybody? Come on. I think people are. I think people are dumbfounded on this one. <laughs> You know, oh my! There we go. Oh my! Oh Come my. on, let's hear it. All <laughs> right. So, let me think. Listen, uh, is this? Uh, it could be. It could Luna Chicks. No, this is no. This can't be the Luna Chicks. No, Gigi Allen. <laughs> Gigi, Gigi Allen never looked like that. Here you go, Jordan Pass. My wedding night. <laughs> My wedding night. Oh, here you go. The chick from Orange is the New Black. Good one, Dylan. I'll give you that. Wasp dancers. Okay, Jenna Torturers. That's a good guess, actually. Actually, Jenna Torturers is a good is a, is a good guess. This is what I this is this is my first guess right here. Is it uh, Dave Dave Mails? Is it the Mentors? No, no. Okay, so. If it's not the best, this girl looks familiar to me. And this this girl is a Long Island girl, I believe, from back in the day. And so, oh, there's another good suggestion. Slipknot. No. Bow, wow, wow. Close. No. Boy. Here we go. The old school. Uh, uh, Tommy Conan. I, I, I'm with you, brother. It is, is, I believe this looks like bile. Is this bile? We got a winner. All right. I'm impressed. We got to win. That took a while. Is that is that Archie from Bile? Was he was that him? Uh, I believe that is. Uh, they called him Slash. Uh huh. And uh, this was actually Bile's first show. Wow. At the Right Track Inn in Nassau County, um, which was also the home of Sick of It All's first show. And wow. what I remember a lot about it is it was right across the street from a crematorium. And uh, where we used to take a whole bunch of group pictures, but uh, they had like TVs on the stage. I mean, it was like a full, you know, at the time it was really uh, like next level. They did all kinds of, it was like an industrial thing, kind of. It was heavy and they, they had guys with the ski masks. They would come out with clubs and beat each other up. And uh, 
you know, they actually went on. They, they've, they've, there is still an incarnation of bile out there right now. I believe there's some good. There's, I gotta admit, there's some good. There's some good. Some good uh, suggestions. Brujeria, that's a good one. This is a great one. Lydia Lunch, Max the Threat. Wow. Lydia Lunch. I would dig it. That's 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 that, that's that's good. Um, here you go. Is that band still around? They were good. Yeah, and, and they're around in some capacity, right? Well, the uh, Christoph, who was like the leader, has the name Bile, and I believe the rest of them have a band now called uh, Vibrator. Which has uh, come of the remember remember being locked down? Yeah, of course. They well uh, those two guys, uh, Eric and Jeff from Lockdown, were came from Bile, and I think they now do Vibrator. Got it. Cool. And uh, real intense band. We actually, uh, you know, they they used to put on a hell of a show. They were in that D. Snyder movie, Strange Land. That's right. I, I I remember that. I remember I I I remember them playing the Limelight, and and they oh they, yeah. They were a little bit before their time. They they really, uh, you know, they they put on quite a show. They, they were a bit before their time. They they were pretty cool. They definitely they definitely were. They definitely cool. were, and uh, they made a couple of good records too. All right. Well, there you have it, Stephen Messina. Uh, picture of the day. We'll see you a little bit later in the show. You got it. Thanks, buddy. Well, there you have it, Stephen Messina. Picture of the day. It's the New York Hardcore Chronicles Live, sponsored by Fryette Amplification and New York Hardcore Tattoos. Fryette Amplification is a small company that makes guitar amps, attenuators, and direct recording products in North Hollywood, California. Their gear is used by the Deftones, Helmet, Candiria, Stone Temple Pilots, Powerflow, Antidote, Volby, Downset, and many other he heavy bands. Heavy bands. Many other heavy bands, not light bands or soft bands, but heavy bands. The brand new Deliverance 2 heads are available now at www.fryette.com. So go over there to fryette.com, check out the Deliverance 2 head, tell them Drew Stone, tell them the New York Hardcore Chronicles Live sent you. Next up, here we go. All the way. Uh, What's happening in Chelsea, New York? Here we go. It is Toy of the Day with Rat Bones. Brother, what's up? How are you? Good. Okay. I like that shirt. What shirt is that? Go Ape. You know, you know, that, you know that was um, when, I mean, a lot of people probably remember this, but um, when they did the, in the movie theater, when they, when, they, when they played all five of the Planet of the Ape films, it was, it, you know, the, the promo was go ape, you know, yeah. and, and you you pay once and you could sit through five Planet of the Eight films. The, I saw that in the driver. Oof. I saw that in the driver with the family, with the Laffy Taffies. I remember the Laffy Taffies. Oof. So All right. what's happening? I'm stuff today because I know Lou has a lot of cool stuff, but I stumbled upon these and I thought they were really cool. Uh, I scored these at Flea Market. And I got a lot of them. Uh, and if you went to CBs, I wasn't even a musician, but I remember these bad boys. So keep that magic out. A little walk down. The pink. Remember those pink guitar picks? Nice, bro. I never saw those before. Yeah. You might have to put. You might have to put one aside for me for my my pink yeah. collection. You know, and I collect, but uh, I sell. I do this as a business. Like the, all the, everything you're seeing is for sale. Eventually, once we get back rolling. So let's keep it rolling because I got a couple of things. We're gonna run Conan comic cover of the day for the black and white Conan. I got number fourteen today because we got the gorillas on today. So that's your Conan Savage Sword cover of the day. That's a nice one. All right, we're going to keep it moving. And theme with the gorillas, that was. But now this one, we're going to go way back to childhood. And somebody said, table it. So I put these on a table so I can kind of spin them around. Can you see them? Wow. And these are marks, too. Nice. Yeah. All right. Last thing. Last thing we got. Last but not least. 
We got it. I got it. The more from Ork. Oh, wow. Mork. And uh, the Fonzie button kind of goes with Mork. Nice. Because Mork was on Happy Days. And then he got a spinoff. So pretty cool. Those are the collectibles of the day. We got more. Good shit. We'll bring you, we'll bring you back on with, with the Sub-Zero guys. Got to get Lou to whip something out. I'm sure he's got something laying around over there. So. Hey, Lou, Lou, I know you can hear us. You're backstage. Make sure you, you have your, 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 uh, your toys standing by to go head-to-head -head with Rap Bones. We'll see you in a little bit, brother. Toys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, uh, somebody just posted something. Let me see. Somebody just said, let me, where is that? Where is that comment, that comment, that comment? Here you go. Did you smoke weed, Drew? You mean, did I smoke weed before the show? Um, actually, I haven't smoked weed in over 11 years. I haven't drank in over 11 years. I don't drink and I don't do drugs. It's been 11 years. So no matter how stoned I might look, it's not, uh, it's, it's natural. Um, I haven't uh, drink or drugged in 11 years, just for the record. So uh, I'm not saying I never have smoked weed, or I never have drank, or I never have done the drugas, but uh, not not of note, not lately. So um, let's see. Let's bring Sid the Kid on. Hey, Sid. What up, Drew? Is someone calling you again? Is someone, yeah, my, my phone, as soon as I start the show, people start calling, man. It always happens. Yeah. It always does. Yep, it's crazy. So, so what's happening? Uh, I'm really, really psyched. You know, as every show Drew has me on, I'm always really selective of what I want to talk about, especially with the album of the day. And this was one. It was definitely fitting for the band that Drew was showing. Let me find it. Um, there you go. There you go, guys. So for those who don't know, you should, because this thing has been out for, what, 25 years, I think, at this rate? It is uh, Hatebreed's first LP, The Satisfaction. Satisfaction is the Death of Desire, which is a, whew, what a long name that is. Uh, this came out, uh, I believe, in uh, November of 97. Just before that, they released their Under the Knife EP. But definitely, this is something a lot of kids and people today can still call this a metalcore record, but I can pretty much disagree i find this to be more of a hardcore record definitely more ramped up even their uh songs they did on their previous recording are sped up and they're more faster and they're more harder and it's still you know very tight production for when it came out and to me i believe um steve Ev everett's uh, evitz actually produced this record and it really shows like how good and tight and yet also raw this this album is um 14 tracks and you know Drew, let me give me uh, this one quote here. Isn't it true that some of the best hardcore records are 25 minutes and less, or is it 20 minutes or less? Can't hear you, Drew. I think Slayer South of Heaven is like 17 minutes or something. Something really? crazy like that. But but yeah, pe listen, people people love that record, you know. Uh, uh, little Lou uh, Zaretsky. Oh, that's good metalcore. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. It's it's a classic, Johnny Rock. I, I, absolutely. I mean, that record really, really got things going in a big way for that band. It, it's a great. Oh, here you go. Uh, rest in peace, Boulder. Yeah, Boulder. Boulder. This is a uh, Boulder's recording. Luckily, I got to see him a ton of times before he passed too, and uh, he was one of the nicest guys. Always treated me with respect. Um, this band itself. I mean, they've been around since '94. One of the few underground bands that will even take out smaller bands they still do it to this day they play stadiums they do arenas and they bring out like you know more regional hardcore acts but they always give props to hardcore and what because if it wasn't for hardcore you know in my opinion they wouldn't be where they were right now you know and jamie's like one of the nicest guys still pushes hardcore 24 7 because he lives it cool that was a good one sid all righty, guys. Well, like I said, I'm going to keep this all rolling, guys. You're picking, your games, you're picking up your game. That's good. Thank you, bro. And I do have one special announcement, but I'm going to save that for Sunday. So let's keep it rolling, guys. Enjoy special the show. announcement? <laughs> I, I got to save it for Sunday. That's what, you all know. Right. All right, we'll see, we'll see you towards the end of the show. All right. Enjoy, guys.
Thanks. Hey, there you go. DJ Sid the Kid, record of the day. It's the New York Hardcore Chronicles Live, sponsored by Fryette Amplification and New York Hardcore Comics. New York Hardcore Comics is open back in 2013 when lifelong friends Debo DePro and Lee Fairley combined their collector, their collections and obsessions for comic books, punk rock, toys and statues, and magic, the gathering, and all things horror. The store is located on 117 Main Street in lovely Dobbs Ferry, New York. The store is dope. Go check it out once the zombie apocalypse has subsided. If you want to support them during the pandemic, please contact them via email or any social media channel for an exclusive store package. $20 gets you one of each. An exclusive shop t-shirt and sticker. Marvel Comics Venom Number 1 exclusive cover to New York Hardcore Comics. So support our sponsor and our friends. Let me drop you a little, let me drop a little, a little banner on you. There you go. Little New York hardcore comics. Hey, shouting out Mike Scandato. What's happening, bro? You're coming on the show on Sunday. You're a little early, bro. Um, so there you go. Um, we'll see you. We'll see you on, we'll see you on Sunday. Um, let me see what else. Okay. Also, here we go. What, yeah, here we go. I want to bring on our guests now. Let me let me clear the let me clear the deck here. Um, some guys I've known for a long time. I used to manage this band in in the mid to uh, in in 96, 97. Uh, I managed this band. Hey, let me get Sid's banner because you know you know what I ain't Sid the kid. There you go. How's that? Uh, I used to manage this band in 97, 96, 97. We did a lot of fun things. Um, we're going to talk about it. So let me bring on uh, Mr. Lou DeBella. <laughs> and Larry, what's happening, guys? <laughs> what's up, Drew? What's up, Drew? Thanks for coming on the show, you guys. Thank you. I love, I love the show. Good, good. I'm watching uh, recently is really good, man. Thank really you. Good shit. Yeah. Fucking Jimmy Gestapo, the they cracking me up. Hey, so tell us, Lou, what's happening? Or what's happening with the band when the zombie apocalypse hit? Where are you guys at? What's up? Well. We were in the middle of uh, writing our – well, first of all, Richie Cannon, our guitar player, of course, had uh, uh, <laughs> opened up a new studio, a brand-new studio, Barking Dog, uh, a recording studio mm -hmm. in uh, Brewster, New York. I mean, the, the guy's fucking amazing. His recordings are uh, – he's been doing a lot of uh, other stuff than hardcore, but the hard, there's a lot of hardcore bands coming in. But he's doing our shit right now. And uh, – the studio is amazing. It's close. It's right off the train from Manhattan. Walking distance. Great prices. And Richie's like one of the best fucking producers ever because he he's a musician himself and comes from that scene and he fucking puts his shit into it. Anyway, we were in the middle of all uh, doing the, the record and writing songs and finishing up uh, loose ends and shit like that and... Next thing you know, here comes the fucking, uh, you know, the bubonic plague and, uh, you know, dysentery and hairy tongue and black tongue and the locusts and all that shit. <laughs> so we had to, uh, he had to close it down for a little bit. And, uh, and you guys were supposed to play the black and blue bowl too, right? Yeah, that got postponed to September now, you know, so. But, um, hey, Richie, tell us, the mail, Lou. Richie, tell us about the mail. <laughs> Richie, Richie, tell, tell, Richie, tell us tell, about tell the studio. About what? Sorry, I couldn't hear you. The studio. Yeah, it's uh, Barking Dog. It's in Brewster, New York. Um, we've been there for a couple years now. And, uh, you know, right now it's, you know, kind of locked down. But hopefully we'll be back up shortly. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Man cool. of words. Hey, I got, I have, um, I have somebody that wants to say hello to you guys, a special guest. Uh oh. Uh -oh. You ready? Who is it? It's our, our ex girlfriend. My friend of <laughs> yours, Mr. Michael Alago. Hey! <laughs> How are you? I guess I guess Richie being upside down is just reflecting our quarantine days. When I said days, I mean D A Z E days. What's happening, Michael? How are you guys? Yeah. Good. 
Oh, yeah, nice no, surprise. It's, it's I knew you were going to be here. So, Claude, I oh, I don't even know how to do this. I had a support. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. And, but one of the reasons, Drew, you know, like we all got together because I have to just show off for just for a second is because I was making this record in 1997. Yes. With the Misfits that Daniel Ray produced and Andy Wallace, who does Slayer, mixed the record. Um, but Lou, all I remember about going to Spain was a lot was a lot of fighting. Yeah, I was doing it. I, I was doing it all too. I get the stories. <laughs> but there's there's some little picture of all me, you, I think is Larry for yeah. oh, oh I guess Richie's back. He's he's not in quarantine days and oh yeah. there <laughs> yeah. Ooh, that no, was fun. I'll tell you, no, I tell you what happened. I remember. <laughs> oh please. I don't remember. The first time we ever met you was the last shows of that Misfits tour was in Spain. Uh huh. And uh, you and you had showed up, you know, and um, you were uh, uh, working with the Misfits, uh, signing them to the what was it, uh, Geffen, right? No, yeah. uh, to Electra yeah. or Geffen, right? Yes. It yeah. Was so, you know, every night, every night of the tour, which is like four months or whatever. Before we left, before we left for the tour, Century Media told us, said, all right, this is the Misfits coming back for the first time and whatever, you know. Granted, it's not Danzig singing, but still, it's the fucking Misfits, Jerry and Doyle, Dr. Chud, you know. And, and Century Media warned us. They said, you know, <laughs> you're a hardcore band, and this these shows are going to be with old school punk rock dudes and squatters and fucking these crazy people that are going to spit on you if they like you and they're going to spit on you if they don't like you. <laughs> I said, oh, no way. Right? So, uh, you know, so we're getting spit on and and, and spit at the whole, the whole fucking tour. And, I, and me, Larry, I mean, I, I can't tell you how many how many Drew? How many times did we had to pay for the microphones and shit because I bashed them over people's faces? It was a crazy tour, I mean, man. Because I don't understand. You know, I mean, look, you're spitting on me. Don't spit on me. I don't even fucking spit on me. I mean, yeah, we're we don't. You, know, you, know? you remember anything from that, Larry? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> of course. So, so there's always there's always someone's had with my bass too one night. Oh, oh, Larry, Larry, Larry used the bass like an axe, uh, like a whipping an axe. Right? <laughs> you know? All I remember are beer bottles and fights. Yeah. So finally, a cigar on and this is from the beginning. Of, this is from the beginning of the tour, and finally we make it to Spain. And and here comes this guy, this gay guy. <laughs> he comes popping up. <laughs> this little gay guy, well, handsome as hell. The guy's handsome as fuck, man. You're gay. <laughs> yeah. He comes up, and he. You know, if he you look up the word "gay" in the dictionary, it means happy. Continue. <laughs> and he comes up and he is the coolest motherfucker. He introduced himself and oh wow. And it tells now now we're in the room with a legend, you know. And this guy, there's no reason for him to do what's about to happen. <laughs> so what happens? We get in a fucking a brawl, of course, because this is happening every other night. It's like I was on tour with Scarhead, brawls every fucking other night. Here comes the brawl. What happens? I jump into the audience. And who else jumps into the audience? Jerry and Doyle jump into the audience to fight with no makeup on. So nobody knows who the fuck they are. <laughs> <laughs> and then comes Michael Lago. He's fighting with us all in the fucking in the, in the middle of Spain. It's fucking crazy, man. You know, man. and I and I love the guy. Like we we talked and we laughed, and you know, and ever since we've been ever friends. Ever since. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And it's, I mean, I love the guy, you know. Fucking wonderful person, you know. Uh, well, we had fun. Yeah, I'm proud of your what you're doing. You and, and oh, thank you. Together, you know, we put together and and uh, it's it's phenomenal, you know. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, man. Well, thanks, thanks, Michael. I know you're doing a show today yourself, right? Yeah, I have a live um, Instagram chat at four o'clock with my friend John Joseph, and we're going to talk about a whole bunch of stuff. And of course, since I'm on your show, I have to be show off a little bit. I got my book out called yeah. uh, I, Am Mike, I Am Michael Alago, Breathing Music, Signing Metallica, Beating Death. 
and you can get it for 18 bucks. I'm on fucking sale this week. 18 bucks on Amazon.com. All right, man. We love you. We'll see you soon. Oh, I love all of you too. Lou, everybody, nice love to you, see Mike. you all. Later, okay, be well. Thank you, Drew. Good to see you, brother. How about that, huh? Yeah, what a surprise, man. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so, hey, I, I got a picture. Let me let me put up a picture here and uh let's let's talk about this here. Uh, well, this is these are some pictures for this is this is my favorite picture from that tour. I mean, this this is pretty. This is pretty. Cool. <laughs> this is uh, Larry, me, Lou, your drummer at the time, and Richie. And this is in Venice, um, in, in the plaza in, in Venice, right? Hasidic Drew. Yeah. yeah Hasidic, Hasidic Drew, right? Hasidic Drew. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because the hat, the big hat. That 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 hat. Uh, I wore that hat the whole tour. But uh, yeah. <laughs> that, that, that was great. Let me see what else. Larry wore a hat for for a minute. Is a, I have a picture of Larry wearing a hat. Really? I do. I don't remember that. I don't remember that either. You know what? I had. How about how about? Hey, when you were around, we were goofing on you and putting it on. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. How about this one, Larry? Get the oh, picture. Uh, when you fucking, Larry, you fucking this my pillow. You get that when you fuck. Uh, how about this one? Larry? Oh yeah. Yeah. That was it. That was. So a, what is that was the biggest moment right there. Oh, that was that was the, that was the cruise to Finland. That was just that was the beginning oh. of the end of the world, right there. Yeah. <laughs> the Titanic. Yeah. Yeah. This is, I'm driving on the right. Larry, you're in the middle, and Lou, you're in the passenger seat. Jeez. And uh, here's a photo. This this is from that European tour with the Misfits. And here's a photo. These are all these are all photos from my personal collection. And here's here's a shot in bunks and our underwear. Oh, you, you sent this to me, Lou. I, I don't think I've ever saw this one uh this is uh, us, yeah. us outside our, our vehicle of Wales. destruction that's in england oh yeah Wales. 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 right that's i, I like this one because there's a date on it it's 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 417 yeah. right. right. those pictures. remember when, when the cameras uh, uh 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 watermark the date on it whatever you call it yeah <laughs> let's see hey, anybody out there anybody what's that oh wait Larry, oh, wearing a hat. Hat. <laughs> oh, hold on, Lou. Hold on. I don't remember. Oh, shit. I know. <laughs> oh, you got me on that one, Larry. You got me. So um, let's let's take a couple of questions here for you guys. Uh, by, let me by the way, by the way, remember that Winnebago, right? Uh, and uh, Drew, Drew drove. Drew's managed the time, got got us a tour, amazing, man. Thank you for forever. And Drew fucking drove the fucking brand new Winnebago that Fletcher Media gave us. You know, yeah. He drove it through the whole fucking tour. By the end of the tour, we owed him, I think, like ten thousand dollars in damage. <laughs> the fucking. <laughs> The sunroof flew off on the autobound. I mean, it's fucking pouring raining and being put garbage bags. The front door fell off. I mean, every I, knob and every handle was torn torn off. Yeah, there was nothing left to it. Yeah. It was like a frame with wheels by the time he bought it back to <laughs> you guys you guys never got out from under that debt from Century Media. I think nope. I think uh, Jamie Jack helped us out a little bit. <laughs> oh that's that's fucking yeah, yeah. Dirk. Listen, you know that that tour, Jamie. That, that, tour, that, tour, that, that. that tour was was a misfits tour and, and I'll show you. I, I got a picture of me from that tour and me and the misfits from that tour. Uh, cause I used to play as, as it started as a dare, oh, I used yeah. to get up and play acoustic with those guys, uh, uh, before the show, but here's, here's a shot of, here's a shot of me and the misfits at the time. Yeah. 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 I I'm remember, sure. I remember that exact area that you took that in. Yeah. You got a pretty good memory, man. Yeah, that is. You used to open up for him too, right? Yeah. You used to play a little acoustic jam. Oh yeah, that's right. You yeah, did. yeah, I got a shot of that. Wait, I got, I got a shot. Like, I got, I got a shot of me and Michael Graves. Here you go, me and Michael Graves. Uh, me playing acoustic to open up the show, and Michael Graves singing with me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think is that where your uh, first, uh, your, your first ideas of the Drew Stone uh, it's, uh, yeah. came from. Experience. It's. Do you remember? It started as a dare. 
So yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think you I don't think you would do it. And I got up with an acoustic to open the punk show. And in Europe, the people loved it, man. The kids fucking loved it, man. It was awesome. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they did. The kids in Europe are great. They're not fucking retarded like the kids here in the States. You know? <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. they're not spoiled. I mean, in the way that they don't see see all this the way we do, you know. Well, back then, especially, you know what I mean? What is this one, Lou? Lou DiBella, remember jackknifing that van outside the venue in Newcastle, UK? Oh, <laughs> oh which way? Which jackknife in the van are you talking about? <laughs> remember the one no, in, no, Drew. How about the one in? Uh, no, wait, Larry. Let's hear from Larry. Larry, go ahead. All right, that was that was in Newcastle, and you were back in the fucking trailer up or some shit. That's what he's talking about. It was you. Really? That sounds like a terrible idea. You don't remember? Uh uh. Yo, what's your guy's name? That little fucking small place. Who's dude? asking the question? What? Linz, Linz, Kus, Hey, I, I, Linz. All right, that that was a that was a moment. But let me tell you the what. <laughs> talking about dry. <laughs> we're in we're in like Barcelona, Spain, and like I said, Drew would drive to fucking Winnipeg, brand new Winnebago, right? And we're driving, we're on the mountaintop. And the mountain, the, the road goes like this, you know, like you would see like in the Lord of the Rings, like a mountain and the, and the road goes around the mountain like this, you know, or, you know. And uh, here's Drew, we're driving down, remember this? Driving down the mountain, fucking this angle like this. How do you do this? This angle like this, fucking windy road mountain. And we lose the fucking brakes. You remember losing the fucking brakes? Dude, I remember. And, and we were feeding down this windy mountain out. Spain. <laughs> 100 miles an hour. You're freaking out. Freaking out. And 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 we find the way we, we get, what got out of it was Drew, like, uh, went up into this um, a driveway or something. It was like, a, okay. like hitting a, a, like a, a skate, skate ramp. You know, it went like this. Boom. And it came back down. I went like this. <laughs> And we and we stayed there like that. He was, that was, hey, so this kid, this kid Linz, he said he put the Newcastle show on. That's oh, I, yeah, I remember you. Yes, yeah, yes, I remember you. Yes, outside you were back in the fucking thing up or something. Something happened. I don't remember, but something happened. Remember wow. we went to the uh, to the convenience store, Linz, and we got like some weird sandwiches or something like that through the window. How do you remember this shit? I have a lot of pictures. Jesus. <laughs> he took pictures of his sandwiches. Hey, uh, he, here's a question for you, Larry. No, Jim Eaton. Oh, Jim Eaton, because Jim Eaton was big. Remember that? We had a big fight outside. It's on videotape. Yeah. Jim Eaton was yelling about a sandwich. No, this <laughs> is Hey, Larry. What? Uh, this is directed to you. Whatever happened to Crusade with Zito on keys? Thought that was a cool, different thing. Oh, it's time great. I saw it. Did you ever record anything? Yeah, we released the record in 2003. But um, I've been working with the same dudes the last five years, and uh, I have a new project called Lesser, but it's uh, more like a prank. But it's, uh, it's basically the same people. Cool. You know, new, I have a video too. No? Yeah. Richie worked on it. <laughs> Let me see what else. Uh, what else? I mean, any, hey, anybody got any other questions? Let's keep moving. Uh, hold on a second, guys. I got to shout out the sponsors, all right? Somebody wrote. Hey, yo, it is, it is the New York Hardcore Chronicles Live, sponsored by Fryette Amplification and New York Hardcore Comics. I want to thank uh, all, the, all my patrons that, uh, that have jumped on board. I appreciate it. Here's, here's the patron uh, banner. Uh, go check it out. That's what enables us to do the show. So get up, get down is the patron uh, banner. Also, um, also, if you have one of these devices, one of these, if you have crash landed here on the planet Earth and you have one of these communication devices, there is an app called Instagram. If you are on Instagram, follow me at Stone Films NYC. All right. Instagram, Stone Films NYC. That's really the conduit to what's going on with the show here. Also, a lot of people are watching this on YouTube. Uh, and may not know, on Facebook, there is the New York Hardcore Chronicles page on Facebook. Follow the New York Hardcore Chronicles page on Facebook as well. That's where uh, a lot of the action is uh, as well. Also, um, 
something about my my patron. I'm gonna uh, my Patreon page and one of the tiers on my Patreon page. Uh, at a certain point, there's uh, something for my my walking tour, and I want to play a clip for the walking tour here uh, before we bring the uh, the Sub Zero guys back on. So this clip runs a couple of minutes. Check this out. Did you got did you guys hear audio on that? They're saying no. 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 Did you guys hear it? No, I didn't hear it. Oh, that sucks. I was making it up in my head. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that looked like our video from uh from Yeah. Ryan. Well, that, hey, listen, that's my uh that's my uh my Drew Stone uh New York City cinematic walking tour. Um <laughs> Hold on one. Dude, you you're going to do is it are you doing a real yeah. walking tour? I have been, yeah. Where you been? Well, you what you need to do, you know those guys well, from. Tell me what I need to do. Well, you? you know those guys from something about Mary who played the. Oh my my girl Shannon Lee. She know she'll chime. What are the, what's the uh, the the player? The, 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 remember something about Mary and they got the guys. Playing, what's his name? Ben Rich Miller. Sorry. Ben John Miller. Uh oh. We're losing Larry's audio. Yeah, I can't hear nobody. You can't hear anybody? I can. It would be great to have those guys. Oh, Jonathan Richmond. Shannon just chimed in. <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan Richmond. You should have him like follow you with the guitar. <laughs> hey, here's a question. Is a Sub-Zero tour in Europe still happening? Yes, it is. It's uh, rescheduled for – it's starting in October 23rd, I believe. And um, it's going on until into uh, November, but uh, you know, with all this shit going down, I'm you know I'm, I'm a little uh, worried about it still. You know, yeah. But uh, what are you gonna do? I mean, hey, I, hey, I got it. I got a picture for you guys. Um, do you? Here, here's one uh, from when we were in Venice with the whole gang, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> Now, the, the, I think I, I think you sent it to me, Lou. It's like a picture. Someone had it. It's a picture of a picture. So something weird's happening. But there's Jerry with no makeup, Doyle with no makeup. Yeah, when they that. when they would fight with no makeup, so nobody knew it was them. <laughs> hey, do, you, do you see who I'm with? Do you see who I'm who my arms around there? Yeah. Yes. How's yeah. she doing? How's she doing? How's she doing? I don't know. I, I'm afraid that now I shouldn't ask. I don't, Oh, look at that! Hey, oh, hey. Oh, how you doing over there? <laughs> no. oh, Hold on. Wow! <laughs> All these years, I, I was wondering how you been. What's going on with you? Oh my God! Wow! Wow! It's been Good a while, you. huh? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, shit! You were there with us. <laughs> there you go. I am the Oh, she says she got pink eye from you guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Remember, she, had, she had a patch on her eye? Yeah, because you, have been used to yeah, you had to clean it before you got into it. You assholes, you rubbed, <laughs> rubbed your faces on my fucking pillow for fucking... <laughs> Rub more than that. Yeah, and then I got my pink eye, and I spread it to you. <laughs> All right. Nice to see you guys. Nice to see you. <laughs> Crazy, right? Yeah, man. Oh, shit. Tonight, I'm over there. Who else are you gonna pull out? What's that, Richie? You guys still <laughs> an item? Pull out here. 
Yeah, crazy. All right, any questions? Any questions out there? Let, let's let's uh, let's send them down the line here. Let me see what other what other photos I have um, from that era that that we could. Uh... Oh yeah, he, yo, here's a trip that we took back in the day. Do you remember this? Japan. Yeah. 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 You ever saw that picture? Yeah. Never seen that picture. Yeah, we went to Japan. That the first time you guys went to Japan, we did like a couple of a couple of shows, right? Cup. We did fucking uh, like uh, what? How many weeks? Like five, five, six, four. Yeah. No, it wasn't that many, was it? First week we went, we only did four. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was right. That was how it should be. We did four shows the first time we were there. Yeah, that's and it. This is, this is, I think, this is at the uh, this is at the train station, train station in Japan. Yeah. 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 Yep. Swell. Yeah, it was only four shows. I remember it as four shows. Four shows, yeah. That yeah. was that was a rough trip. I wasn't at my best on that trip, I admit. <laughs> Listen, you know. Let me see. Hey Lou, Lou, here, here's one of my favorites, Lou, right here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's when we went Krishna. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> That's, that that's, was our that was our Scientology days. <laughs> Let me see if we got any questions. Um, yeah. Yeah. What? Oh, is that on that train? Yeah. Yeah. On the I, tra oh, I, no, I probably no. took that picture. Yeah, you did. Yeah. It's coming back. Remember that promoter had us walking. Like any plans? Everywhere? Any yeah. plans to come to Japan oh, again? Transportation. Yeah, we've been there a few times. Huh? Oh, last time we went there with Uzi, and you know we took with us because it made sense. We took Richie Scam with us. Oh boy! Because <laughs> Sub Zero, Son of Scam members, same same thing. So yeah. said, "Well, might as well just like have two for the price of one." You know what I mean? So so Scam came out with MQ. So we were on tour in yeah. in Japan with MQ, Scam, and Felix. For fucking what, three, two weeks or whatever? I and got was fucking nuts. <laughs> I got a picture here that was just sent to me. Let let me let me read you. I actually just retrieved Love it. Uh oh. What is Here's it? a picture uh, from the Agnostic Front Sub Zero Pledge of Resistance show oh, in, yeah. Lo in London, Ontario, an hour outside of Toronto. We all went for breakfast. This was sent to me by Mark Tolsch and. Here's that photo. Moving, moving, moving. Making magic happen. Boom. The New York Hardcore Chronicles. There you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. There's Ru Ruben. Me and Ruben were lifting weights that whole tour. <laughs> What's up, Ruben? <laughs> Mike the Gook was supposed to be on that tour. Right. And, and he, that's why Ruben is there because we got to the border and they wouldn't let Mike the Gook in, you know? Yeah. And it was fucking crazy. So Mike the Gook got left. Mike the Gook actually walked back over the bridge. Back over the bridge. To <laughs> Detroit. <laughs> yeah. Hey, let's um, let's uh, these what else? Hey, hey, Larry. Let, Ruben, let's. Ruben, hey, Larry. Play, Ruben played bass on for AF for that tour. Yeah, that's how. Hey, I Larry, got got a question for you, Larry. You, what, what was the what was the timeline? Uh, you were in breakdown for a while. Was that? After Sub Zero was around for a couple years, and then there was did that happen at the same time? Yeah, well, Richie was in breakdown from '87 till '89, or and after that, that's when we started Sub Zero, and in '91, breakdown started back up again, and uh, I just I joined them, and I I did it till '97, you know, so I was on the blacklisted uh, EP. Richie. And, and Richie, what was your tenure? Uh, uh, Breakdown from like January 87 until no, 88, 87. Through 88, maybe up till 89. I, it's hard to remember. But yep. yeah, I think I did. I think Larry got in. I think I dropped, somebody dropped Larry's name. Maybe it was me. I don't know. So you were supposed to be in it also when we did it again. Yeah, right. you, you just decided right. not to. You were like, uh, maybe not. That's when I started the Sub Zero, yeah. Yeah, right. Hey, let's bring Rap Bones on a second. Yeah. What's up, Rap Bones? What's up, Rap Bones? 
Hey, Richie. <laughs> Richie did one of these. <laughs> you got Here's a, I saw Sub Zero with most oh, precious please. blood and hate breed at Lamore's in 2002. Do you remember that show? I was not there. I did not. Where Lamore? Yeah, he says. Yeah, I, I know. I know I the do. show, but I, I wouldn't remember that. It wasn't Son of Scam. We got our asses kicked at that show. <laughs> what are you talking about? I remember that show. We got our asses kicked. What do you mean by that? No, I mean like we we that was the show. I was like, damn, we gotta we gotta go back and like work on some stuff. Yeah, where are you getting your good lighting? Because I look like a like I'm like a, like a, like a, like a hey like, Violet, Violet, you're turning Violet, Violet. <laughs> and Larry's in like a dungeon over there. Yeah, it is. What, what hey, here, here's a question: How did you manage? How did you manage to be on the Smiths tribute album "The World Won't Listen" back in '96? What's the story with that? That's uh, Met from Two Damn Hype from Philly. He had the uh, the magazine, all that, and um, Cord Cord magazine. Great fucking magazines. Yeah, nobody, yeah. nobody was doing that at the time. He he covered everything from Cali hardcore to Midwest fucking uh, New York hardcore punk uh, metal. Everything in his full color magazines that came with a CD. And it came out every month. It was like a, it was the dope magazine, you know. And uh, he, he, good dude it. too, man. Good yeah, dude. yeah. And he took that and he went with it, you know. And he was, he was the guy who started Two Dame Hype Records, who signed us to a, a basic, you know, a legit kind of label. Us, Candiria, Lament with Joe Affy, uh, Joe John Scandato, and. Uh, who a couple other uh, 108 maybe no that was uh, uh that was our sevens but uh yeah Matt did uh some really great fucking magazines man oh yeah it's kind of like um like now now in this time there's another magazine called down for life out in, in uh europe and it's it's dope it's the same kind of style because like you look at these kids now and they're like what's this a magazine you gotta actually Put your fingers through and, and uh, flip the pages and read, you know, that, and, and it's it's just great because you're you're holding a fucking a magazine and you're looking at it, you're holding it, and you're feeling it instead of like going on the computer and looking at words and pictures. It's not the same. Here's but, another. Here's another. Uh, my first time seeing Sub Zero was at Lamore's two stages what? show when they had the Panache Room in the back. Show. But with black back slap, grave graves in most precious blood, convergent hate breed on March 28th, 2002, memorial night. Do you remember this show? That sounds like the same show that the other guys show. show, yeah. Same it's show, show? Yeah. yeah. Now, yeah, yeah. rap bones, anything no. for the sub zero guys? No, no I, you know I, what? Actually, I give it up for, for one thing for Lou. I'll tell you, you know, I'm a legend of the pit, whatever. Lou was like one of the only band dudes that would balcony dive every show the whole time. <laughs> like I, I was at Highline Ballroom once, and they had like this back area that had like an old uh, balcony terrace for the little fence railing, and you like got up on that. And I remember like the bands playing on stage, and it was like the whole room just went over to the back, and you did a full flip. They caught you. It's like. What did it, if they didn't catch you? It's no good. <laughs> right. Yeah, but I'm only like I'm only like eighty pounds. So when I come down, it's like a, it's like a leaf. It's like a leaf, yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. Exactly. Well, we're light. We're lucky. So, I gotta ask you too. Come on, I know you're a big toy guy. Come on, pop something off. I, I want to see you got. What have you something. got, Lou? I know, we know you're holding. Well, what you got? I'm gonna match a guy up in the back over there. You got a guy in the back. I see over there. I'm gonna match you. Just, just, just to let me, uh, just to let people know. We're in the same. You're gonna pull that up. We're in the same style. We got the same style over what here. What so, we got? I also. Uh, <laughs> yours is better condition than mine. Oh. Yeah. Well. You got the belt. I don't know. Ask this guy if he's in better condition than him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, his fist is shut off. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> I think we're going to come with the big guns. Yeah. 
Shogun Warriors. They were great. Oh, my childhood, my youth. And you and you talked about um that you had the the Godzilla, right? Remember yeah, you? yeah. Oh, you got that's the Mazinga, right? That's who it is over there. Mazinga. Larry, Larry the Hunter knows these too. Yeah. But uh I gotta say, I'll tell you what. Uh the first time I like start, of course, some of these toys are from my childhood. They like just reawaken that like magic of being young and having no care in the world, reconnect to it. That's why most people collect. But when I was younger in punk rock and living out of like a knapsack wherever, and I remember I had a fanzine, and that was back in the days when the fanzines were like crummy photocopy, like you couldn't even see it. And yeah. it was uh, it was Glenn Danzig. And he was sitting by his toy collection. Ah, and, he that's all warriors. and when I saw that photo, just like a kid would go get new music. Yeah. I was a young man. I was like, I'm going to start collecting. I went out and bought all the Super Pure, all the Mego guys. I remember yeah. the Incredible Hulk was oh. like on sale for $2 in the Toys R Us. They had tons of them. Now, you know, now yeah. it's a card thing. Check it's this great. shit out. This is a, a fun out. I don't. Gotta stretch arms, I got this. I got this when I was a. This is still from my childhood. It doesn't have the arms on it, but this is a diecast version of, of. Look at this. This is pretty fucking crazy. Yeah, dude, I had those. It's yeah. it's a diecast version of a sh the show. show oh, this man. goes back to the fucking nineteen what sixties or seventies. You know, I lost the arms. You know, and then yeah, you got. This, I got the, the, the micronauts. Remember the micronauts? All right, calm down with the toy. I got. I got to throw a flag. I got. I got. You got to throw, throw, throw the flag on the fucking toys for a second here. I got. I got to pull the show back. I got to pull the show back. Pull it back. The New York Hardcore Chronicles live, sponsored by Freyad Amplification and New York Hardcore Comics. I hope you're enjoying yourself. This is Sub Zero. There are guests today. Want to let you know. Got a couple of great shows coming up. Next week, we got Craig Satari from Sick of It All. Yeah. Craig, Craig Satari is coming in next week. Also, next week, next week, we got The Take with Scott Roberts. Will Shepler. And Will One Shepler. of the greatest people in the world. One yeah, of my there favorite you go. people in the world. That's right. And then also this Sunday, we got an A7 Sunday matinee show. With Chucky and Lenny from Crazy Eddie and Michael Scandato from The Last Man yeah. and Newman and Ronnie Wheeler. And one, one last one. A week from Sunday, we have the man himself. We have Mr. Senor. Where the fuck is he? Uh, we got Jesse Mallon. But I also, I also want to throw this up there again. I'm announcing this show. Yo, Michael DeBars is coming on the show. He sang for the Power Station. He was in a bunch of other bands. Uh, he was a, a, an actor, MacGyver, to serve at love. Something a little bit different. I'm trying to mix it up a little bit, but I'm sure you people out there can handle it. Uh, Michael DeBars coming on the show. That is a week from Tuesday. So just trying to mix it up a little bit here. Let me see. Any comments out there? What do we got? Um... Tanguli Cello just tagged in. Oh, here's your boy. Yo, here's your boy Chris from Rikers. Yo, here's your boy Chris from Rikers. Chris Rikers, yes. Yeah. One of our best friends. <laughs> yeah. Always hey, look out for us. You got it, Dacia. I had to take the show back. It, it, the, 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 the toy shit was just, uh, just. What is this right here? True yeah. story. Had no insurance and a fucked up back for a year. Lots of pain and lack of mobility. No money to fix it. Water skiing accident at CB's, maybe Cromag reunion, maybe both worlds. Rap Bones goes, the fuck, this is New York City, and slams right into my back and fixes it. Wow. What the hell is this? We care. <laughs> you could start a church, Rap Bones. <laughs> also, yeah, happy, um, happy, get, um, happy Jack. Yes, Pam's Guide the Bars, the Professionals. That's right. Uh, 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 Michael DeBar was married to Pamela DeBar who was in the GTOs. Uh, she wrote that book, uh, I'm With the Band. Yep, that's, that's uh, yep. Oh, here's a, here's, a, here's a, a request. Get Peter Green. You know, that might just happen. I'm Peter Green. With Peter. Yeah, I could get Peter. That might happen. That's something a little bit, a little bit different, a little bit oh, different. Who was the guy who did, uh, this, he was at, uh, 
who did the uh, Sub Zero record. Yeah, uh, at, at uh, uh, fucking the guy. What's his name? He's talking about an actor. He's, He's talking about the actor. I know who he is. That's I know. Uh, I'm talking about when we recorded. Yeah, when we remixed Happiness Without Peace in Normandy with the uh, uh, fucking what's his name? Who did Lee Way, Chromax, Oh, Best oh um, uh, Tom uh, Stores. Tom Stores. Tom Stores. Tom Stores. Guy. His name is Peter Green. Also, who hung out with oh. the. Velvet Underground and the it's fucking a common name. Huh? So it's a common name. No, dude, you, are you fucking <laughs> for real? You don't remember his ass? I do. talking about the owner of Normandy. He had pictures. Yeah, the owner of Normandy. Yeah, it was Peter we Green. Was I think you're right. No, I'm not talking about Tom Soros. I'm talking about his partner. All that right. Was in there. I, yeah, I know, but I'm saying. He, he, was all, he, was in, he was in a band called the Mushroom something. Mushroom um, Head? The time of. The the uh, the whole Velvet Underground scene. He hung out with Lou Reed, Magic Mushroom, and all those guys. Cool dude. Are you a here? A Gary Gag suggestion. Keith Burkhard from Cause for Alarm. Getting him on the show. I'd like to. I think he's scared to come on the show. He sort of lurks. He lurks in the comments, but I think he's scared to come on the show because we've seen him a bunch of times, um, as Look well. So. Normandy Studios. Uh, Metal Gabe, Drew, you should get Michael Rappaport. No thanks. Love Michael Rappaport. Nah, no thanks. What? Oh, you got, you got a beef with him? <laughs> I don't have a beef with him. No, I, I fucking you know, it's a, That's a maybe. Any, anyway, hey, hold on a second, you guys. I want to, I want to play this clip. I think, uh, I think, uh, I got it together here. So hang with me a second. Um, let me get this going. I want, I want to talk about this a, a quick second here. As we say in New York, how are you? This is award-winning filmmaker and musician Drew Stone. I've traveled the world making films and playing music, but right now, what I'm really excited about is my walking tour, and I'd like to invite you along. As a filmmaker, I've worked with some of the industry greats, including Cindy Lauper, Metallica, Don Lydon, and many, many more. I have a rich history in this city making music videos, extreme sports, and documentary films. I filmed for years on the streets of New York, and as a musician, I've played in many of the city's iconic music venues. From Times Square to the Bowery, come with me as we experience some of the great film and music locations of New York City. I'm a born and raised New Yorker who really love to share some of my personal history as well as some of the history of the city with you. It's an incredible walk through history past, present, and future. I guarantee that we'll have a lot of fun together doing it. I really hope to see you out here soon. Buy the ticket. Take the ride. There you go. That's the Drew Stone walking tour. Uh, we, got, we, got, we got audio this time. Uh, please sign on the Patreon page. See what's going on. Uh, there's a certain tier. I think it's ten bucks. As soon as the zombie apocalypse subsides, we'll be coming out and doing the the cinematic walking tour of New York with everybody. Music. It's it's going to be a lot of fun. Hey, just um, you really? guys. Remember uh, Riley's got it. it was Phil. Hey, Green. so uh, Bob Riley, uh, from uh, Bob. Rep rep representing Troy, New York. Uh, just just chimed in. It's Phil not, Green was his Bob, name. Bob, I hope you're Green. doing well, Bob. It was I'm, I'm Phil Green. Green right. Think about here. you, brother. It's not the same guy. Hey, so, I'm calling you this week. <laughs> I'm coming over with with the uh, with the, my virus, so we can sleep together with virus. Hey, Bob Riley, we're thinking of you. We love you, brother. Love uh, you, brother. We're quarantined. You have the virus, but uh, we love you, man. Wishing Bob Riley, Stigmata, Murderers Row, yep. all the best. Uh, you know, we'll we'll see you soon, man. Also, um, uh, rest in peace, uh, Cook John Cook, who just passed away from the virus. Fucking wonderful man. A anybody who knows knows who he is. Rap bones. You you know Cook, right? I know Cook. Yeah, sad. Yeah, a yeah. People, and uh, rest in peace, of Cook. You know, uh, my uncle's got the virus. A lot of people get it. I mean, South yeah, there. yeah. Hey, do you know anybody who's got the flu? Who and died from it? I don't know. No, <laughs> I never heard about that. I look like it's a virus. That's it. Yeah, the, I think the coronavirus is is uh, winning over the flu. But anyway, 
Hey, uh, let me see. Any other questions? Throw down. We're gonna we're gonna wrap it up. We're gonna wrap it up in a minute. Let, let me bring on Stephen Messina. Hey, Stephen, how you doing? Good, good. How you Where doing? are you, buddy? I'm just getting ready to punch out. Punch out. Is it 4:20 yet? It's it's almost 4:20. Yeah. 4:20. Is that the Shea, is that the Shea Yard? Yep, the Shea Yard. See City Field right behind me there. You know, right, we're just uh, getting ready to get out of here. All right, brother. Uh, be careful, get home safe, and, and uh, send me a photo for the, for the show on Sunday. I definitely will. Good seeing you guys. Thank you, bro. Take care, Steve. Take care. Thanks, Steve, brother. Yo, Steve is so hard, man. Steve is seen it takes the subway to work and everything. Yeah. Our new drummer that we have now, uh, he works at MTA, you know, and uh, he says people Mike Rio. every day. Mike Rio's name. What's up, Mike? Don't hey, here's, yo, here's Bob Riley checking in. I'm okay, guys. Hey, hey Riley, good to hear you. Okay, I'm gonna hit you up. I'm gonna hit you up a little in a little bit. Yeah, sure you are. You full of shit, motherfucker. Oh, you know? asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, call, even call, pick I'll call over and give you the, give you the fucking bichuto. <laughs> <laughs> Riley, I love All you. Right. Hey, listen, I want to thank you guys for coming on the show. Uh, it, it was uh, Rap Bones. I'll bring you back in a minute. I, I want to I want to thank you guys uh, for being on the show. Uh, oh, we're done here. Hey, listen, bro. I, you know, it, it, I try to keep it. I try to have some sort of semblance of uh, of a form here, and not just fucking blab on and on forever until until we lose the audience. I try to keep it like an hour, you know, a little over an hour. So, all right, can we? Uh, well, never mind. What do you got to say? Get in your last licks here. If anybody oh, has any, no. okay, we got it. We have an album coming out uh, in uh, we're, we're shooting for October now. You know, it's on Upstate Records. Uh, Mario and his wife Kim. It's a family-run label, and they're the fucking nicest people. I the first time I talked to Mario on the phone, I felt like I know him forever. And I talked to him on the phone. We laughed together and this and that. But uh, he's I, I chose to go to him because I see how hard he works. You know, he's uh, his label's been around for like what a couple of years, but he's pushing and pushing and doing everything he's can. But he's but he's on a level where where it's like it's it's a fa it's family. You know, it's not it's not about uh, money or this or that. He just wants to make his his artists comfortable and and have their own choice to do whatever they want. But Mario and Kim, his wife. Great, great people. And um, he's putting on a festival coming up in August with Mike Valente. It's called uh, the, up, the record label is called Upstate. Uh, the, the, uh, the festival is called uh, Upstate uh, Family and Friends, whatever. It's, uh, let me see this. It's in, uh, it's uh, August 21st, 22nd, 23rd. Leeway's playing. Uh, Kings Never Die. Uh, Sub Zero Brick by Brick. I have that somewhere, I think. Yeah, yeah. So that's going on, and uh, you know, and, and the, again, remember our our, our, uh, our tour is coming up in uh, on uh, October. So. Here it is. I got it right here. Hold on. Yeah. You talking about bam? Talking about that? Yep, that's the one. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Cool, and it's right? in a brand new club, uh, in um, in uh, Clifton Park, upstate New York. So. <laughs> Is that where is that City Lights? Where City Lights used to be? I'm not. I'm not too sure, but it's the first. It's I, I believe it's the first show also at this brand new club. And I heard it was a really great club. You know? Hey, got a question for you, Lou? How long for um, how long did did Saab play with you guys? Oh, probably uh, what four years, something like that. That Five long? Years? No, no, maybe Four like year. maybe a year. 18 uh, years? Summer of 91 till like January of 92. Last show was a hardcore Super Bowl in 92. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, what's this? What's this from Chris from Rikers? Lou's rooftop ruled. Drew was like, hey, you guys want to go? No, that was the that was the first time oh. you introduced them to us. Oh, I brought them over. I had a party yeah. on my rooftop party. in the Lower East Side on Rivington right. Street. Remember? Yeah. And you brought them over. You brought them over for the party, right? And all they wanted to do was drink American Budweiser, right? Crappy Budweiser. <laughs> so we had this big – Rich O'Brien. Everybody was there. Everybody was there. And um, we had the best time. 
fucking packed out. We got fucking whatever. Next thing you know, we get an offer from Chris and the guys over there saying that, hey, would you like to come on tour with us after the Misfits tour? Because it was the same same uh, time. After the Misfits tour would end, it, it's going to be the Rikers tour. And we, of course, yes, let's go. We made, yeah, became really good friends. And here they are. And we're thinking, oh, we're going to win a bus. And, and, and they said, no, no, no. We want the, we want the bus I, instead of the van. We want the bus. They gave us the bus. We we all traveled in the bus together, and it was. Oh, I guess I guess I gave him an option. Do you yeah. guys want to go back to your hotel, or do you want to go to a party? Yeah. Well, the party was, and on the bus with us was Mosh, and oh, yeah. and Eight Ball, Eric Eight Ball. So yeah. we traveled with those guys the whole fucking. You know what I mean? Yeah. Great, and I can't wait to see those two guys again. Here's a, here's a question. Uh, I want to let me direct this to Larry. Who came up with the name Sub Zero? Wow, this is not, rough. It was not any of us. It was no, right, Richie? You said it, Paul, right? It was Mark Sisto. Who oh, played oh, bass oh, in Breakdown. Oh, oh, all right, yeah. He played bass in Breakdown when I was in Breakdown, and originally he was the bass player for Sub Zero before we ever played any shows. And, and he came up. originally. The, the singer for Sub Zero. I wasn't the original yeah. singer. How about that? Does anybody know that? Who was the it's original true. singer? Well, Angel Lily. Don Angel Lily well, from Breakdown, original Don, Breakdown's brother was the original singer of Sub Zero. Right. Yeah. Only uh, was, what? They did, they did a, in the basement? Yeah. No, no, no shows. Just no. A, that's like a few weeks of uh right. of, they had of, waiting it once and for hey. all. Hey, since since there seems to be uh, seems there seems to be uh, a little uh, call here to kind of keep it going a minute. Let's you talk about. about I, I got a question about, for you. I got a question for Amsterdam? you. Amsterdam. Huh? <laughs> what about Amsterdam? That's what I'm getting to, bro. Oh, shit. <laughs> tell I'll be right back. I got. Tell, I got yeah, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, Richie. You're, uh, you're yeah, out. Yeah. Call out me back. Tell us about. Yeah. Let's talk about the time. <laughs> that we went to, we were in Amsterdam. This was on the Misfits tour. We went to Amsterdam, Amsterdam. Real quick, Larry looks Amsterdam, like where it always yeah. goes down. Larry looks like he's in the uh, uh, typo negative, uh, the right. next the album cover. <laughs> black, 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 black. So, what happened? Tell us what happened in, in Amsterdam, and, and I'll embellish it. Give us the the Amsterdam story a little bit. There was a few of them, but I don't know. Yeah. So. The one, I, the one with you no. guys, you know me. I was always bitching at that, at that tour. I was angry and like, uh, like a, like a, like a child. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I remember. Oh, I remember well. So you, <laughs> yeah, you guys had this idea that you're gonna go go into one of those shops. You know, what I mean, you know, the shops. <laughs> and I went with Marco. Remember Marco? Of course, I get. Yeah, Marco. Yeah. He's, yeah. in this, he's in this picture right here. He's in all these. He's yeah. in these pictures yeah. with us. Yeah, he's in all the pictures. Yeah. Yeah. So me and Marco decided, well, ah, fuck this. We want to retire. So we're going back to the to the Winnebago. That he's Winnebago. in this picture. He's in this yeah. picture in the back, yeah. right? And that's the, the Winnebago yeah. that I'm talking about. That's the Winnebago. Go ahead. This brand new Winnebago, which is crazy for them to do. So. And we parked it right. Where do we park it, Drew? Like right on the on the end of the river bank or something like this in no, front of the. We 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 parked it. We, 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 parked, of the it. Or, it uh, we parked, parked the Central we Station. We parked the Winnebago behind the Amsterdam train station. Right. Yeah. There's like there's like this sort of no man's land. Right. You know where buses? Because I remember when I was at Biohazard, the Biohazard we spent. They parked the bus there. A lot of right. bands on tour parked the buses there. So we right. got into Amsterdam. And I remembered we went behind the the big, you know, big famous Amsterdam train station. Yeah. Was it no the man's library or something there? It was something. like no man's land back there. And we parked the Winnebago and we all we locked it up and we all split and went into town to get crazy. Well, we yeah, we played a show, maybe at the Milk Wag or whatever. Yeah, it was the Milky Way. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. No. And uh when no? we not that time. Not that no. time. <laughs> well, either way, it was with it was the, uh, we're playing with the Misfits somewhere and right. asked him. We went to hang out though. That's what yeah. We're so uh, yeah, and we and after the show was over, we fucking fucking 
pulled the fucking night out of our ass. You know, we fucking did whatever the fuck we want because I think we had a day off the next day. So, yeah. yep. so whatever. So we enjoyed ourselves. And me and Marco got a little tired and we're going back to the fucking Winnebago. And as we're walking b- back to the Winnebago down on the riverbank there, you know, they had the riverbank and it was like the, a slanted hill that goes into the river. You know what I mean? And I'm walking with Marco. Can I take it over from here? And, I get, over from- and two Rast- Rastafarian motherfuckers approach me and Marco with zip guns to our fucking heads. They come up, give me a fucking money. Give me a fucking money. All right, stop. Stop. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stop, stop. Let me take over from here. So I'm... Um, these guys are walking ahead of us, right? There's like two groups. And Lou and Marco are walking ahead of us. And it's late at night. And, and we're walking in Amsterdam like 2, 3, 4 in the morning. Yeah. And all you can see, it's dark. You could see the, the, the light from the street lamps sort of lighting the road you know, ahead. And they're way ahead of us. And I'm looking. And yeah. I see way ahead of us under the street, the light of the street lamp, I see like a fight going on. Yeah, but you – yeah, so kind of a fight going on. So but we you start, guys, we you start guys go running up. We go running up. Over yet? Huh? You weren't even around because that's that starts at because you. I'm on one side of the fucking spectrum and you're over there. But that's true. That's what happened. Because yeah. when the guy, when the Rasta dude, there was two Rastafarians I had fucking zip guns, and the Rastas put the fucking guns right to my head, right. And Marco pissed his pants a little bit. <laughs> and and you guys were nowhere to be seen yet because you were just coming around the corner. Right. right. And when right. the when the motherfucker put the gun to my fucking head, I said, I said, yo, motherfucker, let me tell you right now, we're from fucking New York, motherfucking city, and I got a fucking army of motherfuckers coming, an army of motherfuckers coming right around the corner at any second. And you better drop that fucking gun. Blah blah. blah. Next thing you know, I I look and I see all you guys. And you had an army coming right around the corner. And I go, yo, beef. We got beef. And and he looked, right? And I slapped the fucking uh, gun out of his hand. I started fucking fighting him. And all you guys came running to fight. And there was this big fucking brawl. Okay, wait, wait. Wait, wait. wait. So wait a second. My version of things. I was there. Version, yeah. And then it's my version, of it, right? So we come running up. We come running up in the middle, you know, like beef, like the, the, the you yeah. know, heed the call, right? Beef. Yeah. And everybody, everybody's running, right? We run up, and this this guy's got a, a, a gun in his hand. Zip gun. And listen, and he's got loose yeah, wallet. Man. Loose wallet. And there's a wallet, his wallet chain, he's still connected to his wallet. So he's holding on to the wallet chain, and this dude has the wallet. That's and my wallet. It's my wallet. And we're like, let it go. Just fucking let it go. Dude's waving a gun. So we're screaming. And there's this incredible um, uh, tug of war going on with, with Lou's wallet in the middle of the night, at, you know, behind the Amsterdam train station. Yeah. It was hectic. Chain wallet. <laughs> yep. But then let's remember this. So at, so he got the wallet and they ran. What ultimately happened? Because. Then he, then they wind up. Uh, we're rolling down the hill towards the fucking river, and then the other fucking Rasta dude puts the gun to Zito's head, and blah, blah blah. I'm like, yo, just fucking whatever, bro. And he steals the wallet, blah blah, and they run. They fucking, they were like fucking uh, uh, yeah. cougars. What's the uh, cheetahs? Boom, yeah. like this. They ran so fast. So whatever that happened. So we go, we go back to, back to the. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Here you go. Yeah, yeah. So we go back to the. To go back, you got to go home. We got to go to the next venue. We go to the Winnebago, and it's not there. <laughs> the Winnebago was Winnebago. gone. Oh. We went back to the Winnebago. <laughs> after all this, after a crazy night in Amsterdam, yeah. after all this crazy, crazy beef, we make it back to the Winnebago, and it's stolen. Gone. I didn't think it was. <laughs> thought it was stolen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what happened was, Larry, you know what happened, right? Got fucking towed. I remember. Yeah, and then what happened? <laughs> we went and we had to pick it up, and then we went to the train station, and we were like smoking weed. We were no, the- you forget. Yeah. We had to go to the police headquarters, and everybody's stoned and all fucked up, and the police yeah. fucking. I have it on video. 
<laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. Marco's very upset. We, we, Marco's we crying. Station. We went to the police station. It turns <laughs> out. Marco's crying. It, it turns out that the Winnebago was towed. They towed it. Yeah. They towed it, and we showed up at the police station, and we had to pay some crazy amount of money to get that infamous Winnebago. That fucking Winnebago. Holy shit. We just I was worried about the equipment. Yeah. yeah, the equipment, right? Yeah. They towed it. They towed it with the fucking trailer on it. The trailer, I know. Yeah. yeah, crazy, crazy. Yeah, that was fun, man. Cra crazy, crazy shit. That, that night, was... that the other night, me and Larry were talking about it. Uh, and it, real quick, I'll tell you quick, but uh, because the whole spit thing that I was talking about earlier, you know, the the old punks that spit on you if they like it. You know, spit. Listen, hey, spit on me a couple of times. Hey, you like me? Oh, that's nice. You know, but don't spit on me again. So the guy fucking spit on me. And I take the fucking mic stand. And you remember the remember the, the stage at the milkweg? It's like fucking barricade. six feet high. Barricade. <laughs> barricade. Yeah. yeah. It's a huge, tall stage. Mm -hmm. And the guy came up there again. So I bashed him over the fucking head with the fucking microphone stand. <laughs> Whack, like this. And he fell off the fucking stage on the back of his head on the floor. <laughs> and he went to some coma or some shit. I didn't mean to do that, but he'd spitting on me. Is that the kid that showed up after the show thanking you? He was all bloody? Was that? Oh, something? no, that was another one. That was the Michael uh, Lago. Michael Lago, we met, and the, uh. the fighting's going on. And Larry's fighting, with, Larry's fighting with, the, with the owner of the club and the promoter. And Larry's pushing him around, and Sal comes around, comes on the stage naked. Now, uh, what's the, bit, what's the band Sal was in? Sardonica. Sardonica, yeah. 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 And I threw, I threw the drum set at the audience. We remember that, Drew? You have it on video. We broke all the fucking equipment, smashed the equipment, and and threw the fucking I threw the fucking drum set off the fucking stage and, and impaled the dude like the 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 stand of the drum. Went right through his shoulder and, and like, a, like a gunshot wound. That night in Amsterdam, though, that night with, with the crazy, that crazy night it was one of the craziest nights I've ever experienced in, in, in rock and roll, in my life, in my career. Oh, that is, you know, now that you remind me of it, I got, I got to write this out. I got to write this. I got to write this in my book. Oh, it was insane. Working on a book. It was, it was just it was that whole tour was every night we were brawling every night and it was like scarhead before scarhead happened because it was just us but, and alago was in the mix alago was alago first time we met him first alago was constantly alago was drinking back then so I know. alago was fucking drinking he was a fucking you know, listen you know uh, alago was a puerto rican kid from brooklyn man so yeah he came he, he I fucking know. he's he he you know don't worry about it he scraps man I know. Anywho, hey listen, uh, I want to let me let me I want to let me bring okay. rap on. Hey Richie, you want to say goodbye? Where is goodbye everybody? Hey, I want I want to let me bring why. Sid on. And uh, hey listen, I, I want to thank you Sub Zero guys for coming on. It was a great show. It, it was uh, real fun to. To kick it with you guys and keep in touch. You guys are welcome uh, to come back on anytime. All right. Thank you, Thank you guys. Wrap Take care, up. man. Bye. Fucking, where is Sid the kid? There he is. Hey, Lou. There oh. you have it. They're gone. Oh. Uh, that was it. That was sub, that was sub zero. Uh, wow. That was, that was a nice walk down, uh, walk down memory lane, lane with those guys, man. Yeah, you know, man. holy shit to go with that, Drew. Yo, that, that Amsterdam shit, now that we're talking about it, I haven't thought about that in years. That was one of the craziest nights of my life, man. It was a scary, you know, crazy night, man. And and you guys are all still here for a reason, you know? Like, hey, listen, man, let's not get crazy, Sid. Exactly. We're all still exactly. here. I don't know if it's for a reason. We're all here. But <laughs> we're all here. That's what counts. Don't start with that conspiracy shit, bro. It's not a conspiracy. It's just a saying. It's a ton hey, of let, let's, shout, let's shout a couple people out. I want to shout out Upstate Rick. Thank you for your support. Hey, Rick. I hope I hope you're doing I hope you're doing well. Hey Gary, thanks oh, for stopping God. by. That that was a that was a really fun show. Uh, Jack, thank you. Steen, hey Steen, we're gonna get together an international show. Uh, just so everybody knows, I'm gonna be putting together an international show. 
uh, with, with Steen in Denmark and Laurent in France and Franco in Israel. We're going to do what's an international show. So I'm going to start uh, putting that together soon. Uh, of course, big shout out to New York Hardcore Comics, our people. Um, yeah. We love them. Thanks, thanks for supporting us. Uh, what else? Uh, let me see. What else? Anybody? Oh, Lucas, man, in Poland. What's up, brother? Uh, thank you for the support. Thanks for coming by. Yo, Joe James, Silver Tomb. What's happening, bro? Bro, you have to come on the show. We got to set it up. Uh, you know, we'll do that. Metal Gabe. Thank you, Metal Gabe, for, for, for stopping by. You're, you're, you're solid. Larry the Hunter. Larry the Hunter, who was in Sub-Zero and who's been in Murphy's Law and who's now in uh, Kings Never Die. That, that's a New York hardcore soldier. New York hardcore soldier right there. Uh, Blenderhead Brian, thanks for the comments, man, the whole show. Uh, Chris from Rikers uh, in Germany. Uh, yo, Bob Riley, get well, bro. We love you, man. So, hey, Bob. You know? Yeah, man. Uh, you, Riley, man, we miss you. And that's it. Um, let's see. Hey, hey, here. hey, Steven, you still around? What's up? Yeah, I'm still here. Where are you? Let's see what the train looks like. Uh, waiting, on, waiting on the uh, – waiting for the uh, – the signal here. Here we are. Wow. Peace and quiet. Respect, man. Re so, respect. Hey, listen, I just want to say, yo, I miss all my people in New York. I miss New York City a lot. I'm down in Florida. I've been down here for a little while with my dad. And uh, I built, I shall return. Like MacArthur said, I shall return. You know, um, I'm thinking maybe next month. So in the meantime, I'm down here in Florida. All my people in New York, please hold it down till I get back. Looking so, forward to uh, Arnie's words of wisdom for the weekend. You know? Oh yeah, yeah, coming up, yo, coming up on Sunday, everybody. Don't forget this Sunday. Uh, there's gonna be there's gonna be words of wisdom from Arnie Stone. It's going down. So you know, put your shoes and socks on. Uh, we're all looking forward to that. You know, Arnie's got a little bit of a fan base now. You know, so. You know, he's looking, he's, he's looking forward to coming on, uh, on, on Sunday. So, all right, you guys, Hey, great show. Um, you know, I'll see you guys on Sunday. Yeah. Thank you, Drew. And thanks right, everybody. Take care, Steven. Take care, Sid. Rap Bones, good show today, man. Good yeah, stuff. Excellent show. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. I got to say, Drew, Arnie Stone. Now we see where you get it from, buddy. Oh, thank you, man. I appreciate I that. I love you, bro. I'll see you soon. Later, man. Wow, that was a lot of fun. Great show. Uh, real loose. It was a loose show. Feel good. Not too much stress. Loose show. I had a good time. I hope you had a good time. Uh, shouting out New York Hardcore Comics and Fryette Amplification and everybody else out there. Thank you for the support. We will see you soon.